John Logue. Today we're here at Legacy Marine in Stewart, Florida. And today we're gonna to show you the Tidewater 380cc. Let's take a look. The Tidewater 380cc is powered with triple 400 mercuries. Here at the transom, you have two 20 gallon uh, live wells, port and starboard side. And what's really nice is we have this electronic uh, jump seat back here, which automatically reclines up and down. Back here, you have your bilge access, two in the floor fish boxes. Ahead of the bilge access, we have options for a sea keeper, which can be located right here. Also, another big boat feature that Tidewater did is the fact that we have on port and starboard side dual dive doors. At the mezzanine, we have these two beautiful transom seats with drop down bolsters and armrests. Pull out cutting board for the fishermen or for limes. Down below, tackle storage with four slide drawers and eight tackle plano boxes. Nice little step to get into the seat. And also it makes it very comfortable and safe for you while on the back of the boat. Up here, let's take a look. We have a aft sunshade, which is fully electric. It's actually really neat as you can run with this being out. Uh, two Razor lights and two JL speakers built in. If you take a look over here, you also have a 12 inch Simrad that drops down as well. So that way you can read your baits, uh, your lines, your sonar while you're out on the back of the boat. Let's take a look at the helm. One thing that's very neat is we have two Yeti 115 uh, coolers on slide outs around the helm on port and starboard side. Three helm seats as well with drop down bolsters and armrests. Let's take a look at the dash. Here we have a 24 inch Simrad, a 16 inch Simrad, port and starboard side. And then here's all your Boca Tech switches for all your controls. Joystick is located here on starboard side. Nine inch vessel view for the Mercury. Just show all your fuel, miles per gallon and whatnot. Let's take a look up top. We have our dual actuated uh, sunroof, Simrad VHF, Gemlux Outriggers, actuated airflow vent, and a full enclosed uh, windshield throughout the helm. On the port side of the console, you have access to your head, which has a sink and a little area for the kids to maybe stay overnight. Up here in the console, we have cup holders, armrests, and I consider this to be a sun lounge, which is really nice as you have access to store a lot of things or even use this as a, a fish box if needed. Take a look at these Corian countertops, JL Audio subwoofers. This storage box right here is access to a freshwater uh, hose. Take a look at this electronic bow table. You can bring it flush to the deck, you can bring it where it's at now and use it for a uh, great table for friends and family. You can also bring it mid range and use this whole area for U-shaped seating. We also have two JL audio speakers up at the bow, uh, wireless chargers in the gunnels, and really nice storage that's on a friction hinge, which is really nice. And you're able to actually access it with the cushion being on the boat, which is really great. Up at the bow, you have a through haul windlass with paddle controls, and you also have controls for the windlass up at the helm. My name is John Logue. Thanks for watching. Please visit us at LegacyMarine.com for more information on the Tidewater 380.